Welcome back to, ta-da, 3D printing. Today I wanted to show you guys the Sandy Buggy file on the MK4. This comes preloaded on the USB when you receive your printer. It's six separate prints. I couldn't find any information out there, so I just started with the quickest print. This is the number six, which takes 15 minutes. It does print this little plaque that tells you where to go. When I pulled up the website, this is what you see, the build guide for the Sandy Mini. But I scrolled up and down, nothing changes, all I'm seeing is this photo. And when I click the links, it takes you to 3dsets.com and the 3 Sets Facebook. Those links do work. 3 Sets is the sponsor of this file, and their other files are awesome. It was great looking at everything that they had available. But I'm looking for the directions and the colors and that sort of thing, and I'm not finding anything. So Caitlin made a list of what all of the prints were and what, what we thought they were, what colors we thought we would use. The first print we had started with silver, so we kept with silver, and this print is number two. It's listed as axles, wheels, and engine, and it takes just under seven hours to print. All of these are being printed in PLA, that's what's already been sliced on the USB, and they're all at 0.15 layer height. I did end up with a couple of blobs as it was printing, but everything overall still stuck to the bed. I continued to let it print completely through. This is how the second print turned out. It looks really cool. You can see the axles and different parts of the engine. You can see that there is a little bit of stringing on the engine, but nothing completely shifted off the bed. Everything still stuck pretty well. Okay, so we moved on to print number one, which is the chassis and interior. This print took 11 and a half hours and as you can see we swapped to the black filament for this this one also has a plaque with the same link website to go to but I still can't find the information I wanted at this point it's evening time so I swap filaments and decide to go with the body dashboard print this is a 15 and a half hour print, so I wanted to give it plenty of time to do what it needed to do. I swapped to the three color filament that I had attempted to use on the octopus. This is that tricolor filament from Emollien that is orange, green, and blue. I was happy to see that this file already has the supports that it needs placed where it needed. These are the organic supports, and they look really cool as they're printing. And the color looks really nice too. Adhesion to the bed is really good. Even popping it off, things still stay in place. I really miss this PEI sheet on the XL that's currently not available. But you can see as I turn it, you can see the difference in the filament, the different colors. I was kind of nervous to pop this off the bed. I just thought that something's going to break. It's not going to work quite right. But even though the adhesion is good, things do pop off. All of the prints worked out really well. You can see a little closer on the organic supports. But when I turn it around, you can actually see a little bit of weird seams on the front here. This is the hood of the car. And I, I don't know if that's just because I have super silky filament, if it's gonna do that on you know different types, or if it's just the way that the seam is. Next, I print the seats in black, and this is about a two-hour print. I really love the detail of the seat. It almost looks like upholstery. It's just, it turned out really pretty. And there's just a little bit of stringing, but I'm, I'm surprised that I don't see a seam. They turned out great. And the last print is print four or file four, and this is the tires. This is about three and a half hours. You can see that there are two different sizes of tires. The tread on them is very detailed. It turned out really cool. Here are all the parts together. Total print time for everything was 39 and a half hours. I realized from looking at all these parts that it's gonna be a little trickier to put it together than I realized. So I went back to the file on my computer rather than the phone and realized that this is a slideshow. I kept trying to scroll up or down, especially on my phone, but you actually on the phone just swipe to the right. I wish I'd figured that out sooner because there is some details in here, of course, of what colors to use for the different parts. 
The print plate previews that are much more detailed than you see on the MK4 screen. I'm sure I'm probably the only one that could not get the slideshow to work the first time. The directions are very in-depth, it's easy to put together, there is no glue required for this sandy car. These printed springs for the axles on the front and the back are really cool. The print itself turned out great, putting it together went really smooth. The only thing that I don't love is that because I printed in the tri-color, I really should have flipped one of the parts so that the colors lined up better. But this will not be an issue if you just use a solid color, silk, that sort of thing. This design is a 1 16th scale design. So if you're in the mini world, um, this is kind of in between the prints that I usually do. I usually go for 124 and 112. So it's just right there in the middle. It's a really great size. I don't think that this design is available on printables. I think you actually have to purchase the MK4 to get it. So let me know if you have printed this one, what colors, did you like how it turned out? Thanks for watching.